So next I want to show you how to use the ruffling foot. And this is the ruffling foot and it's got this little spring on the back. Now sometimes if this has been used a lot or if it's just been kind of smushed in packaging, the little spring might be more like that. You really want it to be up like this and, and if you need to just gently kind of pull it up. Be careful, you don't want to break it. But you can pull that up a little bit and that will make it gather a little better. If you find that your foot isn't gathering the way it used to, just take that and bend that little spring back up there like that so that it'll gather nicely for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually let that ride underneath and what happens is um, the spring action here keeps it away from the feed dogs until this catches it and it's just going to gather right up. The other thing that I've done is I've adjusted the differential feed and I've brought it up to two. And the reason why I did that is that is going to actually make the front teeth move faster than the back teeth and, and it will help with the gathering action of that. So if you want it to not gather as much, you can lower the differential feed. I've also taken the stitch length and brought it up to four and that's also going to give me more gather. So now I'm going to put the foot on. And this is something you always want to do a little test sample first to make sure it's gathering to your liking. And what I usually do is I will put maybe two pins or two marks in the fabric that are about 10 inches apart and then gather it up and measure to see how much it's gathering so I know it fits the fullness that I want it to be. That being said, if I have two marks that are 10 inches apart and I gather it so that they're four inches apart, it's two and a half times full. If those two marks are five inches apart, it's two times full. And if they're about three, then it's about three times full. So it's just, just basic math. When you are gathering with your serger, you don't want to hold any tension on it. You want to like let it feed naturally. So you just really want to give the fabric lots of, of feed. Sometimes I'll even hold my hand behind here to let it bunch up a little more and that helps a little bit. So you just want to let it feed really nice and freely. See, I've got this lovely ruffle. Now I'll do the other side, and that's how we get our ruching. So this could, you could do a rolled edge on here. You could even have it folded in half, and you could, you could do a nice ruffle on here, finished edge ruffle. But if you do the other side, then you've got your ruching. There we go, we've got some beautiful ruching. I would just take this, maybe hit it with my iron, steam it out a little bit so that the folds are a little tighter like on my pillow. 